Joining us now on the Rich Eisen Show once again is best-selling author and ESPN senior writer Seth Wickersham. How are you, Seth? Good, man. How are you? I'm, I'm jealous. You got to spend all that time with Sean Payton, one of the most interesting men in, in the National Football League. Jealous. He was, was awesome. Like, you know, I really – I visited him in Idaho for a couple of days and then in Denver for training camp for a couple of days. And um, he's an entertaining guy. He's an entertaining guy, there's no doubt. Well, and again, your piece begins with uh, an italic – uh, paragraph or two flashback to the night that Peyton won the Super Bowl in New Orleans, and it kind of does inform uh, quite a bit about Sean Payton trying to find that next one. Why do you think he took this job? Is it is it the Walmart money? What uh, I mean, honestly, wh- like why do you think Sean Payton said yes to this one, Seth? Yeah, I think it's interesting. He told me that he got so tired in new Orleans of feeling like he couldn't win a jump ball in the league. You know, I think that since bounty gate happened, um, he's been suspicious of the NFL and everything the league does from officiating to memos to investigations. And I think that the, even though he rebounded well, from you know the team rebounded well i think that like after he lost that nfc championship game with that no call on the pass interference Mm -hmm. i think it scarred him on a deep level and i think that when he walked away from new orleans remember he was never going to retire he was going to go to a different team that he felt the league was more invested in their success and that's it's a really really interesting idea and goal right that like that that the league would play favorites like that. But I think that after all his time in New Orleans, he was exhausted on an existential level and coming to Denver, an iconic franchise that hasn't, you know, won a playoff game since the Super Bowl almost a decade ago. Um, you know, I think he felt like that the league was more invested in their success. And as he told me, he thought he could get a jump ball here and there. Uh, here in Denver, I guess, with the with the Walmart family, the new owners of of the Denver Broncos. Interesting. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.